Everybody get up, everybody get up. Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome to Anita Vita Rides. All right, everybody, welcome. It's Anita Vita Rides. Anita Vita Rides, yeah. Anita Vita Rides, yeah. Who can make you better? I need to be the rise in all types of weather. I need to be the rise, get you back together. I need to be the rise, go send her a letter. I need to be the rise. I need to be the rise. I need to be the rise. Yeah, need to be the rise. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Rise with Anita Vita. I am your host, Anita Vita, Master Medical Qigong Teacher and Healer. I'm so grateful and thankful you're here for another amazing episode. As you know, this show aims to amplify women's voices, have them share their stories so that they are a ripple effect of healing in this world. And today is a really special episode because it's the anniversary episode. I've reached one year. I have a special, amazing co-host in the beautiful Pixie Boutique. Y'all don't remember her. She was in the last episode in December. Check out episode 30. Her name is Colleen Lota. She is the brand ambassador for Pixie Beauty out here in Los Angeles. And she's also a professional makeup artist. So she's here with me today oh, to so help me celebrate <laughs> and also educate you all on the beautiful products of Pixie. Get to learn a little bit more about the brand because if you're in Los Angeles, you can come and visit the boutique tomorrow. We have a beautiful event happening from 4 to 7 p.m. We've promoted it. We'll drop the information here on the comments as well so you can participate and check it out if you're around. In the meantime, come join us and have a lot of fun because she's sharing some of my favorites here today. It's a demo. So in a way, this is like a, a short getting ready or getting touched up with me yeah. type of episode. Get ready with us. Yeah, right? get ready with us. <laughs> so without further ado, here we are. Oh, thank you so much for having us. But first of all, let's say <laughs> congratulations and happy anniversary, Anita. Thank you. Okay, tell us what? your first episode. Like what was your experience having your first episode with your podcast? Like what, how was that getting into it? Like, how did you feel? What were your thoughts going through the process of having your first guest and all of that? My first guest. <laughs> I was all nerves. I was so nervous. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, from the time I decided to do the show, we literally launched in two weeks time mm -hmm. because my team's so amazing. They're out in the Philippines. And so yeah. I'm like, are you sure we have enough time? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So from that point to then to get ready, it was really, um, I was, it was nerve wracking. Um, I, if you really, if you went back to the first episode of how I was doing it, I don't think I even left my eyes from the camera. I was just like staring like, Hey guys, um, this is me. And, uh, can you, uh, get to know me? I don't even know, yeah. but I ran with it and, I will say I've had practice doing like random Facebook lives and Before Instagram that. lives. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. that was a little bit of prep, but yeah. for some reason, I don't know why I would get in my head and maybe a lot of people too, just because it looks official with banners and mm -hmm. a team to produce it and all I'm like, Oh, yeah. this would be different or an, another level. It is another level. But I'm like, oh, it's exactly the same as a live. Oh, yeah, perfect. So what's um, your best advice for those who are starting off, whether they're doing like their first live or their first podcast? What What's your best suggestion with your experience over the year? Um, I would say to, to remind, to be gentle with yourself when you start. Okay. Because if you're like me and you're high performing and you want to just get things right, from the get-go, it's really hard to be just compassionate and be like, hey, I'm learning and I know from these points, I'm gonna get better. Right. So that came from anywhere from equipment to 
gosh, the live streams that would go out mm -hmm. or recordings not happening and syncing, right? Mm -hmm. um, what I was going to wear, how to do my <laughs> makeup. Because I don't have a glam squad. I, today I do. Um, <laughs> and I don't have anyone moving lights, moving furniture around because I do it legit like in the corner of my bedroom. <laughs> Yeah. So if you if you have space there mm -hmm. to to just recognize like it's a practice and you're gonna learn and that it's always most beautiful to see where you first started because yeah. who knows a vision of mine is to do it in in live studio right in network uh, in a live network too so yes it's and which we are amazing. by the way we're here at the Pixie Boutique in Century City Los Angeles. And um, we might even take you on a tour later on. Yes, we might pick up the computer it. and walk around and <laughs> take you on a tour. So wherever you are, whether it's another city, another state, another country, we can take you on that pixie tour. Yes. But um, being that it's been a year and you shared your experience of your experience of like the feeling that you had getting into it. Yeah. Over the year, mm -hmm. how many people have you had as a guest over the year? I believe that to this point, my team can correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't been counting, but at least 35. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. How exciting. It's super exciting. Yeah. I love, my intention in creating this show has always been to get to know like the heart of people, mm -hmm. you know, um, yes, we'll talk about your business. Yes, we'll talk about your passions and your projects. But I'm like, I really want to genuinely get to know you. And I think as a child, I've always been that way with people like, mm -hmm. oh, I want to get to know you. And people would always ask, they would always wonder, like, you have so many questions, Anita. I was mm -hmm. like, because I want to know. Right. If you don't ask questions, you don't get to know that anything. Is true. anything. Yeah. And so it's been nice to fulfill that childhood part of me who wants to be more visible, to right. share my voice more, and now have a platform for other women to do it. And yes. everybody who's been on, gosh, God bless them. They, um, as I'm as I'm getting, in, like I'm getting feedback um, mm -hmm. here and there. And one of them got like courage to start doing more reels, to start their own oh, show. That's nice. Um, and see, you can do it that too. Ripple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, and that's what I always talk about, which is that ripple effect from your consistency, from showing up for yourself, it shows and gives permission for other people to do the same. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I, I do believe that you sharing your success story of how you felt with the first one and how you feel 30 plus guests later. Yeah. It's a huge accomplishment. Yeah. And being able to learn the journey of people throughout the process mm -hmm. and learning more about yourself and how to improve your show. Thank you. So thank you for having me and Pixie Beauty here today. You're most welcome, sis. Yes. I appreciate you yeah. for inviting me back. Yes. And um, I knew, I, you know, we've manifested. If you watch her episode, I actually said, I know we're in Hawaii and this is all, you know, virtual and stuff. I was like, I'm <laughs> going to come back. Hawaii. This is December. I was like, I'm going to come back to like, your I show. Go there. And we're going to film together. <laughs> and you know what? You're going to put products on me <laughs> and then fulfill that other side of me where I'm like, what's it getting ready like you know what's that segment like when these influence these beauty influencers come on and and share their reviews and and you know let other people know about it and it's just been like it's just been a whirlwind of fun yeah and joy yeah and Speaking i truly enjoy fun, this okay yeah we were at we were at javier's and <laughs> um which is a mexican restaurant here in century city mall yeah and I remember we were there, we were about to get ready to go to um, support Big Brothers Big Sisters event, uh, charity event at the Fairmont Hotel, um, just down the way. And we were at Javier's and Anita's like, I need a place to do my podcast. And I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. She was, I need a quiet place. I need to be able to, you know, have this you know conversation with the guests and i was like go to the boutique and she said what and i said just go to the pixie boutique i'll let them know that you're coming we'll have it all set up for you what was your experience within that time frame of you're like i gotta go i need to sign on i need to get this podcast up and running and you getting here to the boutique like i that feeling of the adrenaline rush and being able to have a place mm -hmm. where you can speak and know that you're in a safe spot to 
you know, share your podcast with others. How was that feeling within that time frame? I felt super rushed and nervous. Yeah. But at the same time, I, I also, if you guys know about me, I'm very <laughs> like, I'm going to make this happen. I will find a way. I will figure it out. And I'll censor along. I'll learn along the way. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I, I was, um, because I've never done an off-site shoot before yes. i was and it's from my phone I, see we're on my laptop so it was on my phone and i was like no i don't even know how to i mean it's really simple things but when you're nervous and you're not just allowing yourself to breathe in that process i i wish i was breathing more and you think mm -hmm. i would breathe enough because i'm a meditation teacher yes but still now we forget sometimes in those moments but i was so grateful you know she had olivia here one of her team members to set everything up. She got, you know, you had water, you had lights, she got two different types of ring lights. And and I was like, of course, I was like, ooh, makeup. And I was like, do I need a touch up? And so I had that experience of like, just having makeup on the side, be like, okay, girl, let's just powder you up or something. Um, so I was just really grateful. I was both nervous, because two, because we were on our way to a charity event that I was already late for, I had to be, also mindful of being present with my guests and then being, okay, I got a jet and get to the next thing. Mm -hmm. So that also showed me how much I can, how I can uh, pivot on my feet and, and receive when I'm being offered like, Hey, this is here, go to the boutique. It's okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Cause any, any moment I could have just been like, no, I'm good. Let me just go to the ballet because that's where I was gonna go. I'll go to She's ballet the light, to because the, the lighting because the the lighting was better from there. I've been there before, <laughs> and it was around the time you know that time change hasn't happened yet. And so I was like, yo, I gotta get the beat. I gotta beat the light, and that's something so important, right? When we're live streaming and when we're sharing something, you gotta be visible because if I can't see you, I probably wouldn't watch your episode. <laughs> like it's difficult, but. Thank you for asking me that. Um, it's been a whirlwind, and I, I appreciate yes, that you asked we that. We are here for you. Because nobody knows what can happen, right? I know, right before our show. <laughs> yeah, and I had my <laughs> tripod. Like, <laughs> I think that's the I best know, part, so though. Busy. Yeah, like, yeah, just, the, the behind the scenes. That, that was the no behind the scenes. I should show you. Did I film that? No, I didn't even no. film that. Yes. So, actually, Anita posted on her Instagram um a photo of her doing the podcast so check out her instagram and you can see the post of when she did that podcast here yeah and little you know now that you know but yeah. she was running trying to find the boutique and she was coming from javier's on that day so check out that post on her instagram thank you <laughs> speaking of meditation and this month it is mental health awareness month it's mm -hmm. also nurse appreciation month and Mother's Day. Yes. So we're so excited that we are going to be celebrating all of that tomorrow here at the Pixie Boutique in Century City Mall. We are on the second level next to Nordstrom across Adidas and Din Tai Fung. And you can come with and visit us from 4 to 7 p.m. And we'll have um, great shopping experience. And we have our education team here to share Pixie tips and tricks brand education with you, the history of it as well, and self-care. So take it away, Anita, with self-care. Yes. So <laughs> self-care, right? So third season kicked it off with prioritizing self-care. And I don't know about you, Colleen, but for me, self-care is, is so, you know, sometimes I'm really good at it and sometimes I'm not. Yeah. And one of the ones that I, I have been consistent on, especially on days when I feel really low is putting makeup on okay, and also like preparing the skin. So we forget right. that could also be a special uh, sacred act or a ritual or a rhythm for yourself. Right. And so when I'm doing it, I'm like, Oh, this is for me. Like we forget, like that could also be self care for you, like to take time to mm -hmm. enhance the beauty that's already within through without. Right. And not necessarily like, oh, I got to put my makeup on because I got this event to go to. I got a photo shoot. I got to film this or that. It's like, no, this is, um, it's shifted. And my perspective on that is now, let me just, let me, I'm going to do this for myself. Mm -hmm. So what I started doing was, so I used to just stand and do makeup. But now I like pull up a chair because now I got no dresser. And then I'm like, I'm just going to take my time here. I'm going to play the music that I love. 
And then I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and like put the makeup on and just curl my hair. Like I do the whole thing. So my husband's like, are you going somewhere? Right. And I'm like, <laughs> he's no. like, who are you going out with? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no. You're like was... you in front of the TV <laughs> watching Netflix. <laughs> no, I actually say, oh no, this is for me. I just want to feel good about myself. That's what I told him. He's like, oh, okay. And then, and then with that comes with, I don't ever know where, if I need to head to somewhere, if I, if I feel inspired to create content or whatever, I'm already ready. Mm -hmm. And um, that's something I do for myself. That's nice. And it is very important to take time out for yourself, whether it's one minute or five minutes. And the products that we actually have here are Anita's favorites. And we're going to show you how to achieve fuss-free skincare and makeup with Pixie products in a few minutes. And even actually less than a few minutes. But I'm going to talk through the products that we're going to apply on her. But these are Anita's Pixie favorites. So starting off with our vitamin C juice cleanser. This is a brightening antioxidant cleansing water. And what's nice about this is that you don't need a sink. Yes, I said that. You don't need a sink. <laughs> All you need are cute little cotton pads. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually apply this Should on Anita. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's turn sideways. Okay. <laughs> so this one has orange flower, so it's very... Um, it, it'll just really energize the skin and it also has vitamin C. So it's rich in antioxidants. I'm going to apply this onto her face and work my way out and down and how does that smell Anita we're gonna give them smell a vision Ooh, right it smells like oranges mm -hmm. it smells fresh and pixies made with natural botanical ingredients everything is cruelty free and That's paraben nice. free I'm gonna fall asleep now <laughs> I, didn't even I should have much. a chair with a backing guy no, I'm on a stool <laughs> this is not a chair so Anita loves these products. Another <laughs> product that you can follow after the vitamin C juice cleanser is our tonics. So our tonics are alcohol free. You can also follow it with a serum and moisturizer, but she loves the Rose Glow Mist as so a lightweight so moisturizer. This one has seven flower oils and argan oil. So not only can we mist this onto the face as her lightweight moisturizer, but we can mist this on her hair and body. <laughs> it feels so good it smells yes. good too guys i like know. roses i love roses and petra does too which is our founder and creator and um petra really wanted to create products that with luxurious formulations at an accessible price point point. and what's nice is that she's like you know what i don't have time to go to the spa i want the spa to come to me so mm. you know going back to self-care you can use our cleansers our mask our exfoliants in the shower as you're showering, leave it on for a few minutes so that you get that double duty cleanse or that double duty exfoliation. Mm -hmm. I'd use them in the Yeah, bag. and it helps cut the time too. And so Petra great. knows that whether we have children or not, that we don't have a lot of time to pull ourselves together. So she wanted to simplify the beauty routine for the everyday person. I love it. Yes, which is all of us, right? <laughs> so good yes what's next okay what's next is another <laughs> anita pixie favorite mm -hmm. is a product that went viral on tiktok mm -hmm. which is our on the glow blush stick so these are beautiful they have fruit extracts and aloe so they're very soothing on the skin and i'm going to actually show you which which shade did you want to do um i have the you. ruby floor and juicy i have i have ruby at home okay let me try that one. Well, we can do ruby. So this is our ruby. Unless you suggest a different color. I mean, you can do all of them. Okay. They're universally flattering, so they'll look beautiful oh. on, on your skin tone. So it has a nice retractable, like a deodorant stri deodorant stick. And what I'm going to do is apply this onto the cheeks. And you don't need a brush, so you can just use fingertips. Don't stop there because you're probably like, oh, is she just going to put it on her cheek? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm going to also place it on her eyes and her lips. How does that feel? Really smooth. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I'm like doing it with her. And then now I'm just gonna blend that out with her, my fingertips. And you can do this as, a, as well. So if you're, you know, on the go, if you need just like a quick pick me up, just to just kind of pull your look together, you can do this with one product. How cute is that, right? Do I look alive? Oh my gosh, you already <laughs> do. You crazy. Isn't that pretty? Mm, I do yes. like it. What do you guys and think? that was just in like a few seconds. I like multi-purpose products yes. because that's less stuff that I have to carry in my bag. And I yeah. already carry like a big freaking bag. I don't even really change bags, so I don't forget anything. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so I don't know if y'all relate, ladies. I yes. know relate. But if you do change bags, you can get all three on the glow <laughs> blush sticks. And then um, if you do have three different bags, you can like mix and match them and throw them in each bag. So it's like a surprise of which on the glow blush stick is in each of your Yay. bags that you have that you're always changing out. Colleen always wears them. I see her. <laughs> I love it. I see her. I I'm like, going to use the juicy so that you can see. Oh, okay. So just applying that on. Again, Anita has what the pro. ruby. Look at her. Just applying this onto <laughs> the cheeks and then dashing it on the eyelid, blending out with the fingertips. So pretty. It's bringing yes. up like the, your florals <laughs> on your dress. I love. There you glow. Hey. <laughs> so let's glow, everyone. Let's, let's glow. glow, everyone. <laughs> I want to hear more about, you know, your why of of why we're doing the event. And yes. I know you love Petra so much. It's like I a do. dear friend of hers. But before I get into it, please take, you know, we're going to take this a quick short break and we'll be right back. Any minute now, team. Rose Buato and Jennifer Redondo Marquez are the founders and co-authors of In Her Purpose, 40 Principles of Asian Women Redefining Success on Their Own Terms. These are true stories of women who took different career paths ranging from fashion to art to entertainment to entrepreneurship and many more. Rose and Jen embarked on the In Her Purpose project to advocate for women, to feed and fuel the future generation, and to help women define and live out their life's purpose. What's up, family? I am Anita Vita, Master Medical Qigong teacher and healer. I believe that nurses deserve to be nurtured as much as they give. As a high-performing woman myself, I coach women how to overcome chronic gut pain so that they have total freedom in their life through the practice of medical Qigong. In 2011, while working as a nurse in the post-anesthesia unit, I experienced severe burnout and it expressed itself as IBS or irritable bowel syndrome. Discovering this practice allowed me to eradicate this gut disease completely and naturally through meditation alone. The slow mindful movements of medical Qigong are potent and transformational recalibrating your cellular structure by cultivating your body's natural energy and healing source called Qi. Today I coach and empower women to achieve the same result through private and group programs, workshops and retreat experiences to awaken you to your truth and be the highest version of yourself. If you're still in pain, you've tried everything and you're sick and tired going from doctor to doctor with only prescriptions and strict diets as solutions, fear no more my friend because you have found me. Send me a message right now at anita at nacionvita.com and we'll get you to rise out of that pain guaranteed. So tell us, how are you, you know, what's your why in us having our amazing live event tomorrow? Well, um, Petra, our creator and founder, created the brand over 23 years ago. And with her upbringing, she really wanted to infuse the products with natural botanical ingredients and cruelty and make it cruelty free. And her being a makeup artist, she really wanted to create products that were multitasking, beneficial for the skin. And not a lot of brands in the 90s had that marriage of both beneficial ingredients that were multitasking. 
So Petra, being the bold person she is, she started sourcing from the best chemists from all around the world and getting formulations sent to her home. And here, she was living in London at the time, testing, trying, and playing with all the products on herself first. And she realized that, you know, she's like, oh my gosh, you know, this is, this is what I need. Not only do I know that I can benefit from this, but I know that other people can too. And then um, one day she was walking the store streets of Soho, London, and embarked mm -hmm. an empty storefront, and she came across a boutique, and she said, oh my gosh, this is where everything that I've been creating in my home kitchen is now going to live. And um, she was so excited. Her husband asked, well, what are you going to call it? And no-brainer, Petra said, it's going to be called Pixie. So Pixie actually comes from Petra's upbringing. She is Swedish. Swedish born and raised and raised in the fairy folklore and used to call her younger sister Pixie. <laughs> so Pixie was a no-brainer when it came to naming the brand. Not only that, but the Pixie green resembles the fresh and natural beauty of Sweden. And um, it's so fresh and clean there that you can drink water out of the lake and eat berries off of the bushes. Mm. And we joke around with Petra because when she was younger, she would actually crush the berries in the palm of her hand and place it on her cheeks and lips. And we actually created a product called the Sheer Cheek Gel, or she did, and which resembles her upbringing of that crushing the berries in the palm of her hand. And um, she did promise herself that before she opened the boutique to the public, that she will only create luxurious formulations and an accessible price point. So, um, you know, going back to that self-care, she wants everyone to experience that luxury that luxury right in your own home whether you have one minute or ten minutes for yourself it's such a beautiful story mm -hmm. i didn't even know that yes so for you what is self-care for you self-care for me is a lot of things and it's just really taking the time um all i use is pixie and i know when i tell people they're like what are you using on your face i'm like it's pixie and um Everything is simplified, you know. I actually do anywhere from like a three to five step skincare step in the morning and evening. And it's so easy to use. It's so fast free it's so quick. Um, again, like I mentioned earlier, that Petra loves using our cleansers, masks, exfoliants in the shower to help cut that time, but also giving you that luxury feeling, a feeling like you're at a spa, even if it's that moment that you have to yourself in the shower so you know really giving you that spa like finish or even that makeup finish so all of our products with pixie is infused with natural botanical ingredients so you're treating your skin as you wear it so when you take it off your skin will look even better so good and i have been using it every day <laughs> i gotta share some reels with the transitions <laughs> on there you know they started filming them and I'm like, I can't wait to share these with Colleen. I know. I can't so. wait to see them. She was telling me all about it. <laughs> so, so I'm so happy you're here. You got to share a little bit of your story and the self-care you place for yourself, you know, for yourself and to tie back in. You know, we're so excited. We, you know, we mentioned in the beginning, we're having our live event tomorrow. Yes. What are you most excited about? I'm most excited about seeing everyone that supports the brand and new people that will support the brand as well um, and really educating them further about things that they didn't know and like you mentioned right now mm -hmm. you're like i didn't know that about the brand so the more that we can share that with others then the more we glow Amazing. yes let's glow <laughs> let's glow <laughs> what is your current passion and purpose right now uh, my current passion and purpose has never changed, and it's um, something that I know it's in the podcast episode 30, yes, right? Yes, yes. Um, back in December that we were talking about, and you were asking me about how I was able to get to where I'm at, mm -hmm. and it's never changed. And that's why I'm with Pixie is because Petra's philosophy with Pixie is making, it's giving that experience of how people feel when using the products. And me being a makeup artist, I knew I wanted to be a makeup artist in high school. And I was bringing a painting to life. My art teacher 
said how beautiful that painting was. I was painting an orchid <laughs> and she came over my shoulder and she said, that looks so beautiful. And that moment that she made me feel bringing a piece of paper to life, I said, what more can I do that with making someone feel that when I did their makeup? So when I met Petra and Pixie over 21 years ago, wow. uh, we've been glowing for over 23 <laughs> years now. And when hearing her story and her philosophy of why she created the brand, it really helped me understand my purpose and her purpose and bringing that together. So she loves making people feel a certain way with creating luxurious products at an accessible price point. And me applying that is just tying it into because you see that joy of how they feel with knowing more about the brand or experiencing it or, you know, posting it on their social media or even doing a reel of using all the products on their face because we were able to teach them that. So that to me is my passion being extended from what I wanted to do back in high school till this day. And she's been able to help me bring my dream to life. So every day is a working holiday and I thank Petra and Pixie for that. I do recognize that in you for living out your passion for her. And that's yes. so nice to to see you hear what's possible, right? Because there's very rarely do I hear anybody's like, hey, I've always wanted to be, you know, a makeup artist or whatever, mm -hmm. whatever um, field you were looking in. And it just took one person and it wasn't even a long, like a teacher she admired who just gave her, you know, reminded her that to believe in yourself. That's what I got out of it, that story mm -hmm. to continue to believe in yourself because no one else will believe in you more than you. Well, and what's really weird is that my art teacher like even going into high school, I went to all girls Catholic high school. And again, you can visit December, our episode 30 that we did together. But um, before getting into high school, they would always tell me they're like the art teacher, like all my girlfriends that went to this high school that I went to, St. Joseph High School in Lakewood. <laughs> they said the art teacher is very critical. She will not give you a compliment. She's very like, very hard on you and it's very tense and intense when you get in there. So for her to even give it, give me that compliment of painting something, knowing all these years how hard she was on everyone, even years before me, for her to give me that compliment was really big. And knowing that, you know, one compliment like that made the biggest difference mm -hmm. of my career and knowing what I was going to do. Yeah. That's my passion. It's so impactful. Words are so yes. impactful. Right? Yes. So if yeah. you feel, you know, if you're inspired by someone's work or, or, you know, you wanted to share something, like don't keep it to yourself. Like say, actually say something because you'll never know how it would shift them and how it would move them in a different direction because of you. And we may never even know what the ripple right. effect of that is. Right. Right. And then going back to mental health awareness, um, it's very important to, again, take that time for mm -hmm. yourself, uh, recognize, you know, your passion and love or your interests, your hobbies and, you know, experiencing that joy mm -hmm. for yourself. So definitely take that time. So speaking of joy, <laughs> so not only are we doing this live event tomorrow, she, uh, Colleen, alongside of the Pixie team, is also doing a huge giveaway. If you yes. guys haven't been on my Instagram <laughs> or on, you know, Colleen's or on Pixie's, we are we're giving away ten bundles worth of product that includes, you know, skincare and beauty. And, uh, well, they're all beauty, including like makeup. And I think it's a great start for you guys to just you know, to participate and it's fun. And I'm going to announce it live. It ends, it started yesterday. It ends um, next week. So check out the post. We'll share the information here to, to participate. And like, I'm just so grateful and thankful for your generosity yes. because nurses work so hard. Yes. Oh my God. I was trying yes. not to have no tears. I was trying <laughs> not to have no tears. She is an RN herself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm a nurse myself too. And I think it's so important to really take care of yourself. If you're going to be 
in that place of serving really sick people. And oh, look, I got, <laughs> I, I got it. I got it here. <laughs> she got me. She got me. Yeah. Um, so I'm so grateful that she she was going to offer like 10. And so. Well, it's not it's not me. It's actually Petra. Or, yeah. And Petra and is Petra, so yeah. giving. She has such a big heart mm -hmm. that, you know, she, again, created these products so that people can experience, again, that luxury. Mm -hmm. And um, and she appreciates frontline workers um, during the pandemic, after the pandemic, before. And, you know, we've been taking part of being able to, you know, run these yeah. contests with... Um, you know, recognizing frontliners and nurse appreciation day that has now become a week and now has mm -hmm. become a month. Yeah. So congratulations to all you nurses that have been working um, and protecting us all pre-pandemic, during and post. Thank you. <laughs> yes. So, oh gosh, we had I'm just so grateful for this this moment and with everything happening there's just abundance everywhere and i appreciate you know when i'm saying you i also have yes. i have petra also on of my course. heart yes. and you're an extension of her too and Thank so you. um I, i'm really happy and i know there was the the women and whoever wins you know you don't have to be <laughs> a woman but whoever wins it's just you know my hope is that you you take time out for yourself Yes. And that it should be fun and that it's something it's you do fun. for yourself, you know. <laughs> yeah, it is always fun. It's so fun. <laughs> Every day's fun. <laughs> so how can we support you and Petra and Pixie Beauty? Where yes. Can we find you? So you can find us at Pixie Beauty. You can follow us um, at, or you can check us out at pixiebeauty.com. So we have our e-commerce site there and we have two boutiques in the world one in los angeles and one in london so if you're ever visiting any of those places we'd love to see you you can also follow us at pixie beauty on all social media platforms including instagram and tiktok so again at p-i-x-i-b-e-a-u-t-y and i'm going to let you on on a little pixie secret here so definitely if you are sharing the pixie love don't forget to tag and hashtag pixie beauty in your post because petra actually pulls up the hashtag pixie beauty because she loves to see what people are saying and how people are using the brand so don't forget tag and hashtag us <laughs> beautiful sis yes thank you so much thank you well you guys i hope you have enjoyed this anniversary episode out here in the pixie beauty let us know if you want to see more type of these interactive oh actually kinds of, before what? you wrap i i sorry i'm sorry to no, cut you off what? um i'll let you finish you said more interactive yeah more interactive. speaking of interactive what did you doing? all want to go on a tour oh my I god yeah let's tour. do it i'm gonna unplug my mic <laughs> i'm sorry i heard you say interactive so i said we'll make it interactive now <laughs> okay let's just do it now Oh, do you want me to hold this? Uh, no, <laughs> I'm just going to unplug it. Okay. I'm okay. And now you can hear me. Yeah, yeah we're good. This. Yeah, we're good. I'm going to unplug so she can, okay. um, so she can move about. We're going to glow PC around. Boutique. Are you ready to glow? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's, Let's go. glow. Watch out. We're just going to lighten this up yes. here. Yes. Perfect. So we are here at the Fixie Boutique, but we're going to pretend that you're in another state, <laughs> another country, and we're going to pretend that we're going to fly. Okay. So we're going to pretend that we're flying. You all have first class tickets. And now we land here in Los Angeles. So we are here at the Fixie Boutique. You can hear Anita laughing in the background. And um, this is our boutique. We're showcasing our collaboration here with Sanrio and Hello Kitty. Our boutiques in Los Angeles and London resemble um, very similar aesthetics. And we have our vanity here where we do express facials, mini makeovers, hand massages. We also do um, 
we have events here like the one that we'll have tomorrow. So I don't know if we're, we might do like a quick live stream tomorrow of the I'm gonna event. Stream. Yeah, we're going to live stream. And then you yeah. can also check out her beautiful reels that she creates <laughs> content with as well post event but she might be really fast that she might be able to do it real quick um but we have products from cleansers tonics mist serums eye patches exfoliants um moisturizers body care and then we also have our makeup and our products broken down into categories and more makeup and our palettes we also have our Pixie Pretties collaboration, which we've collaborated with four influencers that last anywhere from one to two years. And then we also have very exciting that we launch as our Spring Summer 22 products along with our Hello Kitty. Hello, everybody. Right? <laughs> so these are our products here and... Again, if you are in the Los Angeles area, we are going to be here tomorrow from 4 to 7 p.m. We also have lovely Suzette here, part of the education team. <laughs> so we can't wait to glow with you. And is there anything that you want to say before we glow? Um, <laughs> I'm just so grateful and thankful to everybody who's been watching, who's been following, who's been sharing, been a guest, want to be a guest, want to come back. I'm I'm just so elated. This is my true joy and passion, secret of passion, and I can't wait to do even more. So I appreciate you, as always, you know, continue to follow, continue to, to share and to subscribe. And till if I don't see you tomorrow or we don't see you tomorrow. <laughs> then I, we'll see <laughs> you on social media. <laughs> well, you know, I'll see you next week for the next live show. So as always, yes. I require my to everybody. Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Bye. Be the rise. I need to be the rise. I need to be the rise. Yeah. I need to be the rise. Yeah. Yeah. I need to be the rise.